Hi friends! In this video, we will see how to use SAY2 VFXTH as a VOIP gateway for legacy TDM PBX. SAY2 VFXTH variants enable small and medium businesses to create a seamless office environment by integrating traditional analog phone systems with IP networks. Thus, they provide a reliable and cost-effective solution for PBX networking over IP. To better understand, let us go through the following requirement of one of our clients, Ted Franklin. Hi, I am Ted from ABC Limited. My organization has two offices. We are using legacy TDM PBX for our communication needs. Inter-office calling is done using PSTN lines, which are proving expensive to us. So we are looking for an alternate cost-effective solution for our inter-office communication. In such situations, voice over IP can prove to be a better solution. Voice over IP is faster, efficient, and comparatively an inexpensive mode of communication. Let me ask some more questions to Ted. Ted, how is data communication happening between your offices? Well, we are using a lease line connectivity. That's great. You can use the same IP link for voice communication as well. Do you have free FXS or FXO ports which are not currently in use? Yes, we have free FXS ports available in both the PBX. Fine, your existing setup is now clear. Integrating PBX at both offices with an appropriate VOIP FXO gateway will serve your purpose. I recommend SAY2 VFXTH1600 with 16 FXO ports and 16 VOIP channels. You will be required to do the following setup. At both locations, connect the free FXS ports of the PBX to the FXO ports of the SAY2 VFXTH. With the help of your IT administrator, provide the IP lease line access to SAY2 VFXTH and ensure necessary port forwarding at both ends. Now, configurations required to be done are On the PBX side, program the FXS ports which are connected to SAY2 VFXTH in one group and assign an access code for that group. Thus, whenever an extension user dials that access code, the call will get placed on the FXO port of the SAY2 VFXTH. In SAY2 VFXTH, configure one of the SIP trunks, say SIP trunk 1, as a peer-to-peer -peer trunk. Program the peer-to-peer -peer table with the IP address of the other branch, SAY2 VFXTH. Now select Incoming Routing Option for all the FXO ports as After Answering the Call and Collecting the Digits. Further define the destination port as SIP trunk 1. That's all to be done! With this solution, the PBX users at Sydney can directly reach the PBX users at California. Same way the California users can reach out users at Sydney. So friends, I am sure by now even you are clear how to use SAY2 VFXTH for PBX networking over IP. Thanks for watching this video. For any further queries, feel free to contact Matrix Technical Support.